afternoon everyone. This will be my video lecture in CVN. Today is November 16, 2022. It's a Wednesday afternoon. And just like uh, what we have discussed uh, yesterday, I, no, it's not yesterday, the other time, last week, <coughs> we will continue with our discussion on uh, chameleon values and norms under Unit 4, no? Unit 4 or Chapter 4. So we will continue our discussion on this. But before we proceed with the discussion of chameleon values and norms, there is an announcement that I'd like you to know. <coughs> the announcement is that instead of meeting on Friday, which is November 18, 2022, we will meet tomorrow tomorrow morning in NSTP1 as well as in CBN. No? NSTP1 will be from 9 to 12 and then CBN will be from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. So I repeat, uh, we will not have a meeting on Friday. Instead, we will be meeting tomorrow, November 17, 2022. The time is, of course, the usual time, no? 9 to 12, then 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. <coughs> okay, so we proceed now with the discussion on chameleon values and norms. And we are continuing. And, uh, of course, the most important, no, chameleon, chameleon. Now, what does it mean to be a chameleon? No? Why, if, if you hear the word chameleon, of course, we are referring to someone who is affiliated or associated. No? So, when we talk of a chameleon, of course, we are talking of someone or something that is affiliated or associated to St. Camillus, okay? St. Camillus. Now, uh, I will go back to my first question. What does it take to be a chameleon? Of course, so this one we have to define, you know, define who the chameleon <coughs> volunteer or who the chameleon student is. And firstly, I'd like you to remember that a chameleon, of course, is somebody who is affiliated or associated to St. Camillus. Now, of course, when we talk of St. Camillus, we are always thinking about this symbol, no? which I discussed last time. We are referring to the chameleon cross, no? red chameleon cross. But so red chameleon cross. So this is the emblem, no? This is the emblem. This is the logo, the prominent emblem or logo of the chameleons. I think I have discussed to you last time already the meaning of the red cross, so I will not belabor my point on this. But I would like to define who a chameleon is specifically who a chameleon student is no? so what does it take to be a chameleon no? so in order for us to know who the chameleon is or who the chameleon student is we have to know his character no? the general makeup of his personality no? the general makeup of his total being or personality. No? So when we talk of who the chameleon is, we are talking and if we want to know who the chameleon really is, we have to discuss his character, the general makeup of his total being, his philosophy in life, and of course beliefs and values. No? So we will discuss this one by one. Okay, the first one, I have discussed it before, no? <clears throat> when we talk of a chameleon, of course we are talking of somebody, no? Somebody 
as I, I as I said earlier, somebody who is affiliated or connected to Saint Camillus, and because he is affiliated or connected to a to Saint Camillus or one of his its institutions or his institutions, like the SCCM Saint Camillus College of Manawa Foundation, of course the chameleon believes or adheres <coughs> to the chameleon charism. I think I discussed already last time what a charism is. No? So we as uh, part of a chameleon institution, we adhere or we believe to the chameleon charism. Now, you may ask what a charism is. A charism is a gift. No? freely or graciously given. It's a grace. No? It's a gift or a grace bestowed upon somebody who is a chameleon. So that is the first one. The first general makeup of the character of a chameleon is that he is somebody who adheres or who, who believes to the chameleon charism. And what is that chameleon charism again? Of course, there are three very important, no? To know, to love, and to serve. Diba, tatlo yan? To know, to love, and to serve. These are the gifts or graces given to a chameleon which comprise his charism. No? To know is knowledge. Diba? Knowledge or scientia. No? Latin translation. Uh, love of course, is a mole. So these are the three graces bestowed to a chameleon. Knowledge, love, and then the third is, of course, service or servitude. Diba? So remember this. These are the three pillars of chameleon charism. Knowledge, love, and service. So this is the first uh, one that we will define. No? A chameleon, of course, is one Charism is a gift, no? a grace, bestowed upon somebody who is considered as a chameleon. Okay? So that is the first of uh, defining his personality or his character. No? The second, of course, we have to focus on the heart of the chameleon. The heart of the chameleon, his heart, is of course somebody that is caring, <clears throat> compassionate and merciful no? and merciful so this is the kind of heart that we have caring, compassionate, merciful because of course we love the sick and the poor no? these are the groups that we specifically serve no? the sick and the poor so the heart of a chameleon is some something that is caring, compassionate, and merciful. So remember that this heart is caring, compassionate, and merciful. How about his mind? The mind of a chameleon. No? So the mind of a chameleon, we now go to number three, his mind. No? This time his mind. His mind is of course something that is scrupulous. No, remember this term, scrupulous, a scrupulous mind, or a what we call a discerning mind. No? Remember these two terms. His mind is scrupulous and discerning. What do we mean by this? Well, a chameleon does not act on impulse. No, he does not do that. But what he does is he evaluates and analyzes circumstances. Diba? Before he acts, he first evaluates and analyzes circumstances. No? And then after analyzing or evaluating uh, circumstances, then he decides. That is how he does. So, because if he evaluates first, he analyzes and then he decides, he arrives at what we call a good decision. No? 
So this is the result of having a mind that is scrupulous and discerning. Scrupulous, we are very careful in evaluating and analyzing before we decide on a certain matter or issue. Okay, so that is the mind of a chameleon. What else? Aside from the heart, aside from the mind, aside from the fact that he believes in uh, chameleon charisma, of course, we go to the fourth one. The fourth is we have to define his spirit. No? His spirit. No? His spirit, his total being. No? His spirit. And his spirit is a rock, rock solid. No, remember that it's a rock solid spirit. What do we mean by rock solid? Simply matigas. No, rock solid. Why is that? Because what we want as a group, group of chameleons, is that when we have a rock solid spirit, we can withstand. No, we can withstand all the pressures. No matter how difficult it they may be, pressures in life. No, so you still remember that uh, advertisement on TV, which we call batang matibay. No, batang matibay. That is similar to this. No, batang matibay is having a rock solid statement. We do not easily give up. No, we could withstand all the pressures in life. We, have, we are fierce. No? The term again is fierce. No? We are fierce. We can withstand all the problems, the struggles, the trials and tribulations that life may bring. So we are after here, no? patang matibay, developing our character to have a rock solid spirit. No? Okay. What else aside from having a rock solid spirit? So we have defined the chameleon as having a heart that is caring, loving, and compassionate. He has a mind that is scrupulous and discerning. He believes in the chameleon charism. And then of course, he has a rock solid spirit. So we move on. The chameleon also has a guiding philosophy. No? This is always our guiding philosophy. Our guiding philosophy, you know, remember that uh, our charism has something to do with love. We're adhering to love and to know knowledge, love, and service. Now, most important as to how you manifest love is through serving others. You know? So, our guiding philosophy is to serve communities. No? Is to serve communities. And usually, when we serve communities, <coughs> that service is part of our charism. And when we serve communities, we are more concerned about the welfare of other people, particularly the sick and the poor. No, this is our focus no? in serving the sick and the poor. That is the reason why we have the hospital there. And our focus also is to help the poor. We do not just uh, do something for our living. But what we do is to serve always. No? We serve other people for the welfare of other people so that our community or our communities will be alleviated from poverty okay so always remember that our guiding philosophy is to serve and not to earn so much money for our personal aggrandizement always the guiding philosophy is service guiding philosophy is service for every chameleon service no? And of course, when we talk of service, the attitude or the approach that we have to manifest is what we call selfless sacrifice. No? There's selfless sacrifice. We do not think of our own, but for the welfare of other people. Okay? So we move on to the sixth. 
no? To the six to define who a chameleon is, no? So we define about his heart, his mind, his spirit, his charism, and of course his guiding philosophy. And now we move on to <coughs> values, no? The one thing that we value the most as one of our values is bravery. No? We value this very much, no? Bravery, courage, no? Being fierce, diba? Being fierce, palaban, no? This is what we need because we have to withstand all the pressures in life, no? Withstand all the pressures and difficulties in life. You should remember that life is not a bed of roses and being so palaban, no fears, no? Batang matibay as what the advertisement would um, imply, no? Batang matibay, why do we want this, yung matibay, no? So that we do not easily give up when pressures or difficulties would come along our way we should be able to withstand no all the trials and struggles that life may bring no so in short because we value bravery very much no we want this we are able to pursue our mission of serving others so how can you serve if you are not brave no serving others how can you serve how can you go to the mountains how can you go to uh, far flung areas when you are not brave. So definitely, it is very essential that we value bravery as part and parcel of our personality. Okay, batang matibay. Remember, batang matibay always, no? And then finally, what does it take or what does it mean to be a chameleon? So, aside from that, the most important is, of course, number seven would be our belief in God, no? Belief in God, no? At the end of the day, and at the end of everything, at the end of our life, we have to face our Creator. And when we are asked, what have you done, my child? Well, of course, we could always cite the service that we have done to our fellow men, no? The selfless sacrifice that we did in order to alleviate mankind, selfless sacrifice, and of course, the love that we share to all others. No? Belief in God means an acknowledgement of the presence of our Supreme Being, the Creator or Architect of Destinies. Okay? So belief in God is very, very important for us to be able to uh, go on, move on, despite difficulties, no? despite our difficulties in serving others okay so i have defined already to you the overall personality or character of a chameleon now we move on to what we call the mbo no mbo of course would refer to the mission statement right? the mission statement the vision the vision statement and of course the objectives no? So if you will notice, when we talk about the mission, and the mission is, how do, you, how do you distinguish a mission statement from a vision statement? Okay, we, we go first to the mission statement. When we talk of the mission statement, <coughs> no, so that you know what a mission statement is, it defines on what we do. Defines what we do. Or the state of being state of being of the state of being of the institution no? so when we talk of the mission statement it talks about what we do no what we do it states about who we are no? so that is the mission statement so if you will notice, uh, the mission statement of SCCM is what? Mission statement to 
transform the Filipino Filip, Filipino to transform the Filipino youth. No? To transform the Filipino youth. No? As model leaders. No? Filipino youth. So we are very particular about leadership. Transform the Filipino youth as model leaders. <clears throat> no? We are not talking of an ordinary mortal, but leaders. Because why? Because we are we have to go out to serve others. No? As model leaders through education of the heart, mind, and soul. So remember this, no? Soul is the spirit, the heart we have already defined, then the mind we already know is scrupulous or discerning, and then the spirit is a rock solid statement. So it always has something to do, no, with our what? Charism. The charism of the familia. No? The charism of which is to love, uh, to know, to love, and to serve. Okay? To transport. Now, what about the vision statement? How does that differ to a mission statement? No, when we talk of the vision statement, no? this time vision instead of mission. Vision will, of course, denote the future. Diba? Future. Vision. So, when we talk of the vision statement, we are now talking about where you want to be where you want to be no? where you want to be and of course the vision statement of SCCM is uh, to become the forward looking educational institution that's why future no? forward looking forward looking to become uh, the most dynamic and forward look looking educational institution in northern Luzon that aims to pursue academic excellence for global competitiveness. So if you will notice the vision statement of SCCM, it is always futuristic, where we want to be. Say for instance, five years or 10 years from now. No? As compared to what I've said earlier about the mission statement, it merely defines, no? in the mission statement, it earns it merely defines what we do no? as an institution. Okay? Clear? Now, finally, we have what we call the objectives. MBO, no? Okay. Finally, the objectives. Of course, the objective of SCCM is to educate the youth, Filipino youth, to become a model, model leader through the ISERV Uh, goal or objective I referring to what when we talk of I uh, we are referring to intellectual growth by intellectual because it is a school in the first place no? intellectual growth then of course social growth emotional growth no? resilience from adversities when we talk of resilience we are talking about uh, being able to bounce back no, where you first uh, started, no, you you are uh, flexible or resilient, no, resilience from adversities, and then of course here we do not uh, we have to emphasize the importance of values formation, no, it is also very important that there should be values in a person's life, and then of course empathy, empathy would mean makisaka empathy for service so here is our formula for developing you no uh, for developing your personal growth and development intellectual growth social growth emotional growth resilience from adversities values formation and then empathy for service i think i have discussed a lot ready for today I have to remind you again about our class for tomorrow so you take this down as your assignment which you have to put in your portfolio you know? so this will be your written assignment this is already assignment number 4
no? I'd like to see all of this being compiled in your portfolio. No? Assignment number four. Uh, number one, you have to write an essay. No? So number one, write an essay. And the title of that essay is, What does it mean for you to be a chameleon? No? What does it mean for you to be a chameleon? So that is the topic. Or what does it mean to be a chameleon from your own perspective? And then number two, I have already discussed the personality traits as well as the general makeup of the character of the chameleon. So of all the traits that I have discussed today, which of those, no? Which of those is the most important to you and why? No? So of all the traits and attributes that I have discussed, seven all of them, which to you is the most important of all the traits of a chameleon or character of a chameleon, which one is the most important to you and why do you consider it as the most important? So there are two numbers only for assignment number four, which you need to uh, accomplish and compile it in your portfolio. Okay, that is all for today. Good afternoon everyone and see you tomorrow.